we are back, guys, with more The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I get to do something I really hate doing. Post commentary because I am an idiot and I forgot to save the audio for this video. But we're still in the middle of the war of the uh, bigger on sword side quest. And uh, we got to the point we had to get these eye drops back to bigger on. And we had, to, we had to get them back to uh, Death Mountain before they go bad. We have four minutes to get from Lake Hylia all the way back to Biggeron on top of the up, on top of uh, Death Mountain. So at, th at first we kind of screwed up right there. I was like, "Oh my God, we're going to screw up already!" It was like stupid horse. But uh, once we got going, this uh, th this one right here is a lot of a lot of people got turned off, got uh, shut off by it too because it was. Uh, Really hard to get over there in four minutes. And I, 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 those two parts will be screwed up right there. I didn't think we were going to make it at first, but uh, but once we got going, it really wasn't too hard. As long as we get as long as we get to Kakariko Village, and about on about uh, two minutes left to go, two two and a half minutes left to go, you, you're you're pretty good. Just uh, you got to make it quick because. Once you get to the top of that mountain, it makes it gets a little bit difficult because you know you have to dodge all those uh, fallen boulders. You have to climb that wall with the skull tall and all kind of stuff. But uh, as long as you get up there, at a, uh, about to Cat Village, about two and a half minutes left to go, you should be okay. That doesn't mean you can dawdle around though. You got to make it up there kind of quick. So, but this is one of the last parts of the. Uh, Trading sequence. Once you get this to bigger on, you'll get a claim check. Uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean once we get there. So, once we get there, but I can't believe I didn't save the commentary for this video. This was this was a very good video. Our commentary was like really, actually, really good. It was there was really funny parts in it. But see, made it to Kakariko Village with about two and a half minutes left to go. So. Uh, so we don't even we don't even have time to dawdle. We're just gonna go go go. As long as you make it to Death Mountain with about two minutes left to go, you'll be fine. Notice that. Uh, I wonder if he, I wonder if that guy ever got that mask to his son because he's, he was standing there for a while. So, all right. At this point, I was starting to get a little bit worried, but then I remembered we had that shortcut up to up here. Stupid boulder! We had this shortcut up here that we could take that cut off a lot of time on our trek. So, we just want to take the shortcut and go wee all the way up here, all the way across, and it jumps up here, and then we make it. Shut up, Navi! Hey, listen! Shut the fuck up, Navi! Yeah, so we decided to grab our hook shot to make it a little bit easier. At this point in time, we're saying screw it. If we get hit by a rock, we get hit by a rock. We don't have time to uh, dodge everything. But we really don't get hit by too many rocks. It was actually pretty smooth. And so we make it up to the, rock, to the wall and just, just get, we start blasting away at these uh, skull wall tolas. Yes, that's the official name for him, Skull Wall Tola. Or Wall Skull Tola. But once we, once we got rid of that last one right there, we knew we were going to make it just in time. So, we uh, actually did pretty good. We actually made this in pretty good time. So. Alright. And there he is. Oh, oh, oh. He still can't see because of the irritation. Let's give him the eye drops. Really? You brought the eye drops? I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. And he uses them. And he's like, bloop. Wow! This is stimulating! It's working great! Now 
now I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent, so I'll give you this to you so you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait, just wait patiently. And we get a claim to Bigron Sword. You got a claim check for it. You can't wait for the sword to be completed. So yeah, we gotta get a claim. We get a claim check for the Bigron Sword. But we're gonna go take care of a few things before we go back and get the Bigron Sword. So we're, I think next up we're gonna head for Goron City to get a few things up in there, then. Get a few on it and things to go around the city, get that out of the way, then we'll head back up there to grab the sword grab the sword. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head to and you hear a cow. <laughs> cow. Whee! Actually no, we're gonna head to uh first we're gonna head to uh the Dongo's cavern. There's a uh Uh, Gold Scotola we can get in there. So we're going to be heading to uh, there first. Grab that Gold Scotola. So the first thing we do is go over here and we jump across here. And we head to the uh, room to the right. But we don't go all the way up to the top. We just go down, down across here. So, yeah, there's just the gold scrotola we couldn't get without uh, the hook shot and stuff like that. So we're going to head back in here and grab that real quick. So, just run past the Bemos. Bemos. Oh yeah, this is what we need. Yeah, we can't do it without the hook shot, and we also can't do it now that we learned the scarecrow song. We get, we need to get, uh, we need to uh, summon Pierre. So we will summon Pierre. But you notice right there, she uh, moves all the way up and goes. But the first time it doesn't work. We're like, what the fuck happened? So we're gonna have to stand in a different spot. There we go, just right there. Perfect. So let's play the Scarecrow song again. And Pierre gets summoned. So let's use our hook shot to uh, get up to Pierre. And behind Pierre, there's that gold skull tall. Couldn't do that without the hook shot or the scarecrow song. You get a story to Gold Scotola, yay! So that's another Gold Scotola under our belt. <coughs> and that's all we needed to do in the Dongo's Cavern. If you notice next to the Dongo's Cavern, there's the uh, Big Scotola Symbium. So that means we got all the Gold Scotolas in the Dongo's Cavern. So that's really all we needed to do there. So we can now head back out of here. And then I think we had to go around city next. To grab a few on it and stuff. I think. Yeah, ran into Goron City. Alright, so there's a few things we can grab in Goron City we're gonna grab real quick and then we'll head back up there to grab the uh grab the uh Bigoron sword. And so let's wait a few days anyway, so. First thing to do, first we're going to do is, uh. Notice there's a little, uh. Uh, Goron rolling around. Kind of like the big Goron and the adult, and the child link that's a little one rolling around. We gotta bomb him. <laughs> he just runs us over, ow. So yeah, we gotta do the same thing we did like in the pr and with the uh, big Goron. When he's rolling around, just kind of throw a bomb at him. Eventually one of them will hit. I think this one has, yep, there we go. There we go. 
How could you do this to me? You're you're a Ganondorf servant. No, we're not. Hear my name and tremble. I am Link, hero of the Goron. So he is named after uh, me. Oh, oh. Let's talk to him, please. What? Your name is also Link? Uh-huh. Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero Link. We are. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Yeah, we do. Dancing fool. Dad made me Link after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Thank you. Link, you're a hero to us, Gorons. I am so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Link of the Gorons. Oh, we'll think about it. Oh. I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. We are. My dad, Darunia, went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. <laughs> you better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him? What do you want to ask him? Let's ask him about the dragon. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagia living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, BOOM! Destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know, because my dad is a descendant of the hero. And we're the descendant of heroes, too. Ooh, ooh. You better try to calm him down. That's asking about the Gorons. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please help, Link. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. And we get the red tunic. Doran tunic. The, uh, this heat-resistant tunic is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Going to a hot place? No worries. Yeah, we'll definitely need that. And all the doors open, but there's nobody inside. There's a couple of uh, more things we can get in here, though, before we go get our uh, bigger on sword. So we're going to go grab those real quick, and then we're off to finish up the side quest. Yay! First thing we gotta do is head back up here to this very top up here. Notice these chains that go across here. We need to slowly make our way across one of them, like a rope or the rope or whatever. Slowly make our way across. If you notice behind there, there's a gold skull tola. Yes. This one's a little bit tricky to get. We actually have to get halfway up the. Uh, no, we and we fall, and we fall. So we'll get back up there though. Just give us a second. Let's play the Jeopardy theme. All right, here we go. Let's slowly make our way across. There's a um, gold scotola sitting there, but we have to slowly make our way across over here. Let's take out our hook shot. Let's, and let's fire away at that bad boy. Come on. There we go. And we get another gold scotola. Hooray! And we fall again. <laughs> so. So we're going to head over here. And there's notice there's a little statue thingy. 
Let's go in here and let's equip the Goron tunic. We already got the Zora tunic. We got that a little prematurely, but there's a few items we can get in here before we even consider going into the fi uh, into the uh, fire temple. So we're just gonna go grab a few things. There's Sheik. Hi, Sheik. It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. Now this is a song to get into the fire temple. And or warp back to the fire temple if we need to. It's easy enough. And we play the Bolero of Fire. Alright, Sheik, thank you for teaching us another song. I really, really, really appreciate it. Yay! You have learned a Bolero of Fire! Leek, I'll see you again. Okay, bye bye. And Link and she uh, puts up a firewall and disappears into a puff of smoke. Yay! Yeah, there's a few things we can go out and grab in here. We're gonna grab some items and stuff like that before we go take care of a few things. Notice uh, there's a heart piece over there. So we're gonna grab a. We're looking around for the, uh, to the plant, but then we notice something. Uh, we never planted the seed up in here. So, so we really can't do anything about that right now, but we can do over here, we got Pierre. Hi, Pierre. Fire bubbles. So, we're gonna summon up Pierre. And grab a few on it and things, like I said, and... Doom, doom, doom. Alright, Pierre. Alright. Da, 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 da. Alright, Pierre, let's get over there, please. And all it is is a bunch of rupees. We realize it's just a bunch of rupees. But, alright, so we're gonna make our way back. And I uh, think this is about the part where we ended at, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. And when we come back, we're gonna grab a few on and in uh, Items that we need to get before we go into the fire temple. We're gonna grab the bigger on sword. That's so that. See, so have a good day. We will see y'all next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time with me and the Laws 85. Y'all have a good day. We will see y'all next time. And out. And out. And out.